Join us at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prompt Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. This portion of the news is brought to you by Desert View Hospital and Mountain Valley Physicians Group. Don't put your health on hold. We have time for you. Call us to schedule your appointment, 775-751-7100. Welcome back to News 46. Here's Deanna O'Donnell with your entertainment this week. Drake, Robin Thicke, Keith Urban, and Macklemore and Ryan Luce will perform on the Grammy Awards nomination special in December. The Recording Academy made the announcement today. The show will be held December 6th at the Nokia Theater in Los Angeles. Rapper actor LL Cool J will host the Grammy nominations concert live. Countdown to music's biggest night. The one hour special will air on CBS starting at 7 p.m. Thick is a top Grammy contender. His Blurred Lines is the year's biggest smash. He has won Grammys for writing songs for Usher and Jennifer Hudson. Macklemore and Ryan Lewis have also a strong chance for Grammy gold. Their breakthrough year includes three international hits and a platinum debut. Michael Jackson's estate is suing a man and three companies in Japan, alleging they are using the name and likeness of the late pop star in keychains, mugs, and other products without permission. The lawsuit filed in Tokyo last month does not seek money but demands the actions to stop. It names Raisuki, Matsura, and three companies, Michael Jackson Asian Rights, Michael Jackson Enterprises, and Michael Jackson World. The estate said it wants to protect its legitimate partners and preserve Jackson's legacy. Jackson died in California in 2009 from an anesthetic overdose. Tom Hanks has revealed that he has been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes during an appearance Monday night on Late Show with David Letterman to promote his new film, Captain Phillips. The actor said his physician told him he had moved from a pre-diabetic state to having the disease. Hanks is one of several celebrities, including Paula Dean and Sherry Shepard, who have gone public with having diabetes. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your entertainment this week. Thank you so much, Deanna. A golf tournament will be held soon at Lakeview Executive Golf Course to benefit the American Cancer Society's Relay for Life. Yeah, we, uh, this is the first year that we're doing this. It's for Relay for Life, American Cancer Society. We are doing a golf scramble on October 26th. It is at Lakeview Golf Course. And whether you are a golfer or a survivor, we want everybody to come out and just support everybody. So first, like I said, this is the first time we've done this. We're excited because, uh, about this and we're gonna have a lot of fun and a lot, hopefully we have a lot of golfers that day. It was a big fundraiser for the Relay for Life. Um, kind of reaching out to different uh, people's interest here. And of course, uh, golf usually brings in a lot of good uh, funds for a worthy cause. Uh, yes, and like I, uh, we hope to have a lot of golfers. And as right now, we haven't had anybody sign up. The sheet, uh, the sign-up sheets are at the golf course, so they could be picked up, or they could get um, the call me at 702-527-9829, and that is where um, they could call me, and I'll be glad to get them a sign-up sheet for the golf tournament. How much is it? It is forty dollars, and that includes a hot dog, pop and chip lunch, and um, if you, and we're trying to get everybody registered by October tenth. After that, then it's $45. The golf carts will be 25 because it is a fundraiser and everybody's got to remember, it's a fundraiser. So we're trying to raise money mm -hmm. for cancer. There you go. And uh, what time is the tournament going to be held at? Uh, registration is eight o'clock to 8.30 prompt. Nine o'clock is the tee off time. So we have to have everybody out there on time. There you go. For more information on this, uh, and if you would like to donate to the American Cancer Society's Prump Relay for Life, you can go on the web, right? That's correct. You go on our um, PrumpRelay.org, and you can donate there. And also, we're also good for people to come and join the teams, survivors especially. And so we want you to register now, come and have some fun, play some golf, and let's crush cancer. And now here's Angela Miles, who joins us with today's First Business Brief. This is the First Business Brief for Wednesday, October 9th. I'm Angela Miles. Two of the biggest U.S. creditors are calling on the nation's politicians to quickly deal with the looming debt ceiling. China and Japan hold a combined $2.4 trillion in U.S. debt. 
China states it's the United States' responsibility to act, and Japan's Ministry of Finance reportedly is very worried about the situation. GM is shifting from showrooms. The plan is to expand online car shopping so customers can bypass the dealership. The move faces legal challenges. Dealers have exclusive rights to sell most new cars in person, which often leads to higher add-ons. And cruise ship prices are at the lowest ever. A report says prices are down 43 percent from 2009, with some cabins going for $30 per night on Carnival and Royal Caribbean. Prices typically fall this time of year. However, it does follow high-profile ship mishaps. That's the First Business Brief. I'm Angela Miles. So actually, so we've had some really, really great weather for October. We've had a little mm -hmm. bit of rain. It's been um, pretty cold yeah. as far as today. It, so. it definitely cold and some rain up here on the hill. And it was a mild summer. And yes. uh, definitely winter seems to be coming pretty quickly. Yeah, hopefully we get some snow. But coming up after these messages, we're going to have more of your weather. So keep it here. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Hello and welcome back to News 46. Today we have a rain with a high of 67 degrees and an average temperature of 84 degrees. Winds will be coming from the south-southwest at 11 miles per hour with gusts up to 23 miles per hour. The UV index today is 4, which is moderate. Humidity is at 34% today. Sunrise was at 646 a.m. and the record high in 1996 was 97 degrees. Tonight we have mostly cloudy skies with a low of 43 degrees and an average temperature of 61 degrees. Winds will be coming from the southwest at 5 miles per hour with gusts up to 9 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 27 percent. Sunset will be at 616 p.m. and the record low in 1949 was 41 degrees. Tomorrow we have partly cloudy skies with a high of 68 degrees and a low of 44 degrees. Winds will be coming from the southwest at 5 miles per hour with gusts up to 8 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 46 percent. Excuse me. Sunrise will be at 6.47 a.m. and the UV index will be 6, which is high. For our seven-day forecast, it looks like a mostly sunny week with some clouds on Thursday. Your high temperatures will be ranging from the mid-60s to the mid-80s, and your low temperatures will be ranging from the high 40s to the mid-50s. Thanks so much, Noah. KPVM-TV would like to express our deepest condolences to the Wood family for their loss of Christy. Tomorrow night's Pump Valley High School Junior Varsity football game, Christy Wood will be honored by the team. Her son Devin Wood, who wears the number three jersey, will be playing the game for his beloved mother who passed away just a couple days before she was to see her son play football. This was a wish Christy held dear to her heart. KPVM-TV will be recording the game and giving it to her family in her honor. The team will also be wearing Christie's initials on the helmets in honor of the beloved corrections officer, wife, mother, and daughter who battled cancer so bravely. A chili cook-off and barbecue will be held at the Correction Corporation of America's parking lot on Mesquite Friday afternoon at 1 p.m. All proceeds will go to the family. Well, Utilities Inc. employees will be washing vehicles for a donation to benefit the Pahrump Tr Junior Trojans Wrestling Club Saturday, October 12th at 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. in the parking lot of Draft Picks located on the corner of Highway 160 and Postal Drive. For more information or to donate, call Ken at 775-764-0321. And that's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Deanne O'Donnell. And I'm Monique Mitchell. Good night. Good night.